What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with another toy haul. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the figures that I picked up this past week. Now I gotta say I think this was one of my most diverse pickups ever. Uh, meaning the range of prices that varied when it came to these different figures. It was crazy. It was all over the place. So Let's take a look. So the first thing I want to show off is this. I picked up two of these Mauser sets. Now these come with seven and it's from the hit TV show from Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now why did I pick these guys up? Well, it's because I bought the Revel Tech Turtles. I was taking pictures with them and I was like, you know what? I really do need some villains. So what better way to display my turtles with the Mausers. So there you go. I picked up one set here. I actually opened one just because I was uh, super excited. So yeah, they're in my detox. But I got two of these guys, which are just great. I really do like this. Then I picked up another villain for my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it is the Krang. Once again, from the same company, and it's from Playmates. Now, honestly speaking, Guys, don't pick up this figure. I At the moment of this recording, I'm really contemplating, should I return this figure? Because this figure blows. I should, I should, I should have watched some reviews on this guy before picking up my very own copy, or copies, I should say. But I didn't, and so now I regret it big time. Why? Because these guys suck. Case in point, right here. I picked up once again, I not once again, I picked up three of these guys. So I have one still in pack, package, and then I ripped up two, and I was just super excited. As soon as I got into the car, I ripped them up. Now, from the package, you can't tell if, uh, like, how their feet are, or you can't tell if the, there's joints here. It looks like they have joints here, and but they don't. They don't have any joints in the knees, no joints here. He's standing on his tippy toes for this foot right here. Uh, no elbow joint. He only has this joint right here. The head is on a swivel and it's actually on a ball joint so he could get, he can do everything with the head. But no elbows, no knees, no wrist, nothing here. And for Pete's sake, he can't really hold the other accessory, which is this gun. And so, yeah, I'm really annoyed. Uh, every time he's in, the other one, I have two open right now. The These two I have in my D-top. Every time I walk by my D-top, anytime my wife walks around the D-top, anytime anyone or the car drives by our house, whatever, this guy falls over like it's his job. Don't pick this guy up unless you are planning to give this to your nephew or someone very young who doesn't care about figures, posed, etc. So yeah, please be careful with this guy. So I picked up three of these guys. One still in package and one guy is going to just lean here. Alright, so that's that. Up next, I was actually finally able to find one of the rangers from this new set it's the silver ranger now this these these guys right here i can't find any of these guys can anyone else i mean uh, if any of you guys live in jersey and you've seen them help a brother out because i have looked in walgreens i've looked at target walmart uh toys r us kmart i've looked everywhere and I cannot find any of them. I even brought this figure to the counter. I'm like, hey, did you guys get these guys in by any chance? And they're like, nope, haven't seen them. And so I'm thinking, Bandai USA, what the hell are you doing? I mean, seriously, get your distribution straight. How can places like Cali and places like that get these guys so much? I mean, honestly speaking, I think MMPR, Shirk and Shinobi, and some other people who review these guys, they've had these figures for months now. And we are just getting this guy? I mean, 
come on, what the hell? Like, get your act together, let's start seeing some more, and uh, hopefully soon, because uh, to my knowledge, Super Mega Force is coming to an end very, very quickly. If it hasn't ended already. I haven't actually watched this show, so forgive me for that, but... I will pick it up once everything's done and whatnot. But anyway, so there you have it. We got the $7.99, $7.99 figures. We got the $8.99 figure. That's not that big of a gap. But here is the one that is a pretty big gap. I'm going to move back a little. Bam. This is the Wonder Festival Figma of Kaga. I think that's how you pronounce her name, from Ken Collection or Ken Kentai Collection, whatever you want to call it. Um, she, I think, is like the sister or cousin or friend of uh, Akaji. Akaji, I think that's how you pronounce her name. This girl right here. And I know some people were waiting for me to review her, but I wanted to get her so I could review them both at the same time for you guys or back to back for you guys. So that's why I've been holding off on it. So I do apologize for those of you guys who were waiting, but yeah, I was waiting on this chick right here. Now, I actually got this from eBay uh, from a seller who got this at New York Comic Con, so I was super excited about that because I totally forgot to pick this one up at New York Comic Con. So, got my Kaga figure, and I will be reviewing these two with, let me move this a little, these two, very very soon all right guys well that was my haul for this week i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys do toy hauls too let me know in the comments section down below tell me what you guys got if you guys have a video of it just link me to your video and there you go well anyways guys thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for watching please rate please uh, comment and if you haven't done so already if you guys do like my content please hit that subscribe button and yeah thank you once again all right guys until next time this is daybreak 748 and i'm signing out peace